Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Today's beer comes from Sierra Nevada. This is one of their 30th anniversary ales. This is our, it says, our Brewers Reserve Grand Cru. Which is a, uh, which they take three of their beers. Uh, is a marriage of our three most acclaimed ales, Oak Age Bigfoot, Celebration, and Fresh Pale Ale, blended with together and gener generously dry hopped. So, uh, I like uh, I like all three of them, so I'm hoping this is going to be a, a pretty good treat. Uh, Sierra Nevada is out of Chico, California. This is an American Strong Ale coming in at 9.20 ABV. Brewed once. I did this one time. Limited. Uh, food pairings. Cheeses are nutty. As Asiago, Colby, Parmesan, and the glassware is Becker, the tumbler, uh, the snifter, the mug, uh, oversized wine glass. I got the Duel glass with this one. Uh, with the, as usual with the 30th anniversary series, it's got the cork and the cage and stuff on it. But the last two, they've come out fairly easy. I don't like some of them. Some of them have, to have pliers to get them out of there. So. The uh, beer can be selling for extended periods, being a 9.20%. But just remember, it's blended from celebration and it's dry hopped on top of that. So. Uh, the longer you keep it, the more of the hoppiness is going to go away and going to fade out of it. But let's get the cage off this thing and see if this one's going to come off or we're going to have to have the pliers to get into it. What do you think, guys? Alright, there that is. Let's see if this one will come out. Oh, yeah. Sierra knows. They got it going on. Now we're going to get a pop here. Look at the smoke rolling out of that thing. I would think this would not produce a large head, so we're going to pour it kind of aggressive down the center here and see what we get. Well, I'm going to ease off. It is kind of producing a bigger head than I thought it was going to. Look at that. That's a good two-finger head there in that glass. Let's see what we got here. It is a dark amber. Maybe just a little bit of chill haze on that one. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom, but it is a darker amber color. And we have a monster head on that. I wasn't expecting that from a 9% beer. But, as you can see, very good looking dark. It almost looks like a, almost looks like a, like a, a strong iced tea in the glass as far as the color. But anyway, let's get a nose on this one. Give it a little bit of grapefruity, citrusy hops on this. I don't know what hops. It says uh, dry hop, generously dry hop, but it doesn't say well, what hops. So. Really citrusy, uh, caramelly. A little floral, too. I'm getting more of the Celebration Ale and the Pale Ale as opposed to the Bigfoot, the Oak Age, but not getting a lot of vanilla or any kind of any kind of oakiness or anything out of it. Not on the nose, not not much. Let's see if we can get some of the taste. Cheers guys. I get more of the Bigfoot in the taste that in the nose. Got a, a strong malty sweetness to it. Could tend to be just a little more bitterness in there, but it, it's pretty tasty. It's blended very, very well. Wow, that's nice. 
I think that may be the out of the uh, the three that I've done so far in the 30th anniversary. This may be the best one I think. Very very nice. Very easy drinking. I don't get hardly any of the alcohol notes at all for a 9.2% beer. Very tasty. Well, we're going to let it warm up. See what we end up with here, guys. I'm going to share some of this. It's, looks like an A beer. I believe it is. We'll see here in just a second. Stick around. Alright, guys. Thank you for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass. And it's left a nice coating all the way down the glass there. So, as it's warmed up, I do get the... Uh, the vanilla from the uh, the oak barrels and that big foot, so it's there now. Final chug. Also, as it's warmed up, the alcohol has come just a little bit more noticeable too. So it's really nice. So it's the it's the oak eight big, big foot and the celebration ale and the fresh pale ale combined, and it's hopped again on top of that so it's pretty tasty I enjoyed that pretty good so uh, guys it's definitely a 9 out of 10 if you had that you probably would agree with that I would think Great Beer has it 99 overall and a 97 in the style and Beer Abbey comes up with an A minus so I think it's just a little bit better than an A minus so guys if you've had this beer let me know I'm pretty partial to Sierra Nevada and we're trying to get them to come to this part of the state and I hope they do uh, they make some good beers. I haven't had hardly any of them, and I've had quite a few of them. They're one of my go-to beers in the fridge. There's always Sierra Nevada in my fridge. Probably Sierra Nevada in, in all five of the fridges. So, that being said, it's pretty tasty beers, guys. If you had it, let me know what you think. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. And we'll back tomorrow. We're gonna look in the fridge then. See everybody then.